long as there are people out there, and as long as there are problems to solve, then there's a need for engineers. And you can be oh, I think the future is just wide open um, for engineers just getting into the industry. Initially, I didn't know what an engineer was. I thought it was just some guy on the train. And um, when I was a junior in high school, uh, a friend of mine who was a senior, um, you know, went to an engineering seminar and she told me, hey Vic, you might want to get into engineering. And then that following summer, I actually went to a chemical company uh, in the St. Louis area called Mallinckrodt. And there was a guy named Eric who was a chemical engineer that, um, you know, kind of showed me around. He uh, told me what engineers did and, and gave me a real good introduction to uh, what chemical engineers did there, right there in St. Louis where I grew up. So, and I went to the University of Missouri at Rolla, which is an engineering school in Southwest uh, Missouri. And because I liked uh, math and I liked science, I liked chemistry, I thought, well, let me try chemical engineering. But really, Engineers are problem solvers. And one of the things I like about engineering school is that it helps you to think. Uh, it helps you, it gives you the skills to solve problems. And once you have those skills, then it's like, what problems do I like? What problems uh, do I have interest in? What problems do I have a, a passion for? And then you can go into that field. But if you have an interest in math and science, and then you just have that natural curiosity I think that would be kind of a good foundation for getting into engineering. So once you become an engineer, you don't necessarily have to stay within a certain discipline. It's not rigid. It really is almost like a funnel. It's like you start out as an engineer, you come out of engineering school, and then the world just opens up to you. But I think that once you take a couple of steps, see where your passion is. And if this is something that you really like, that seems to really fit you like a you know, hand in glove, then I would definitely pursue it. You can get into so many different areas uh, after you get your engineering degree. You can be, you can focus on design, you can focus on production, you can focus on management, you can focus on people. Uh, you can do any of these things. And as long as there are people out there, as long as there are problems to solve, then there's a need for engineers. And you can be one of those people to not only help other people to solve problems, but make a good living at it. Being an engineer is, has been great for me and my family. Uh, you know, we just bought a new house. My wife is all smiles, and, and I, I need to tell her, hey, that's because I'm an engineer. <laughs>